What a match we've got here with Tom Jones up against Sean Chipperfield. This is going to be a fast action pace match. Joining me in the commentary booth is none other than the basher, Tony Holgate. Got a, got a hold up in the lift, mate. One of the, one of the lifts is broken down. And uh, uh, that was a bizarre experience. Anyway, I'm here. How you getting on, Chris? Anyway, you're all right. I haven't seen you today. I've been hiding, mate. Trying to keep away from uh, the main arena. I think sometimes you can get a little bit too involved in it. Yeah. You know, I just like to be on space, really, and just watch a bit of TV. What, just been watching a little bit of the snooker. Must be on again later today, though, when you're in the fourth event. Yeah, I play at um, court to eight, I believe. I'm not sure who I play against, but I'm sure it'll be a tough match. No matter who I play, the standard these days is uh, very high. This first frame here, Sean Chipperfield, if he has a slight little angle, he'd love to be able to nudge into the eight ball here. Even nudge the red wouldn't be the worst result. No. Something didn't want to nudge the red that way. Yeah, and I think he's been a little bit lucky, you know. I think he's still on this yellow. Does the yellow above the one at the bottom go in the bottom left hand corner? That is a question. If it doesn't, he's in a bit of trouble. May even go in the left centre pocket. Well, it obviously does go. He's just overrun that a little bit. He didn't really want to land there. And how does he get on the eight ball? Can he top it off the bottom cushion, just run into the eight ball here? I think he's missed a little trick there, Tony, but I think he's okay. Might have a slight angle to be able to pull down, Chris. Yeah, and if he can't play that, you may see him just roll this yellow rain and take a long, thin eight ball. He's a brilliant potter, is Sean. Ooh. Not good news, Sean. Yeah, that wasn't a good shot from Sean there. Didn't want to cannon the ready. For me there, he should have just uh, bit the bullet. I mean, I, I can't see a way how he can pot this eight ball. Well, it was a good hit. Any harder, the cue ball wouldn't have spun back. It's not the worst result. And this is my first time watching Tom Jones play. I have actually seen a couple of clips of him on Facebook and what have you, but for a whole match and commentating on this match, it's the first time. So uh, I have heard he's a, a brilliant potter. Yeah, me too, first time. And I don't like that shot. You, you're just giving him an opportunity to, to go up and down here and he has a chance of making this eight ball. Granted, if he doesn't make it, you would expect Tom to clear, but the only reason I can imagine him playing the shot he played was if the red didn't go. There's no real reason to hit that so hard. He could have played it at a nice pace, keep the eight ball close to the pocket. Yeah, exactly. And now Tom Jones has got a glorious opportunity to take the first frame. Nice little flick there off the red. Unintended, he certainly didn't play to do that, but he'll accept it. Nice shot there by Tom, perfect on the red. Needed to get the cue ball where it is now so they can make this. Well, he should be going for it because it's a free shot. If you just screw the cue ball back a couple of inches, you guaranteed the snooker.
Not sure who wanted them both, Chris. Yeah, for me, he should have played the red when he was... Even if he'd have missed the red, it wouldn't have been the worst result. Nicely played there. This has now become a tricky shot. Unless the red goes past the eight ball, I think it does. Yeah, else it was going to be the old screw into the rail with a load of side and come check it down onto the bottom cush. Yeah, just roll this in off the, off the bottom cushion. That's perfect. Nice little clearance this from Tom, first yep. frame. Very assured. And I can't imagine this match taking very long, Tony. Both very, very fast players. And it has that air about it as Tom Jones knocks in the black and takes a 1-0 lead against Sean Chipperfield. Well, but with Tom Jones' break off. And it's going to be dry. So Chippy, come to the table, have another look at it. Come on in, Chris, what's wrong with that break? Well, it, it didn't hit a bad break. It, he just lifted up a long time before he actually hit the cue ball. He's been a little bit unlucky, really, because they have broke quite well. I mean, the Reds are absolutely sitting. And this will probably take about 30 seconds. Sean Chipperfield doesn't hang about when he gets into the flow. Yeah, and he, he really needs a cue ball to land close to the left-hand cushion. Therefore, he can pop the next red after this one and screw across or play off the top cushion, side cushion, and then leave a natural angle on the red. As you can see there, he's a, he's a little bit short, but it'd be wise to play the one in the top left-hand corner now and screw back. Give yourself the option of two reds. if he left the angle on the cushion there it would be coming off the side rail and be perfect on the reddish closest to into the bottom left hand corner then you just play two stun shots and it's quite simple now yeah. all of a sudden it's uh, it's become a little bit more difficult for Sean yeah may have to go up and down here with this one Well, that's okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Just pop this red into the bottom right-hand corner, screw off the side cushion. Just needs to make sure he leaves a good angle on this next one. Well, he's slightly the wrong angle. And if, he, if there is any downside to Sean's game, is that he's such a naturally gifted potter, and he plays on instinct, that sometimes, if you just take that extra second... You know, because he does run out of position quite a lot, but he's such a brilliant potter that, you know, he gets away with it a little bit. Yeah, more. and he marches on as we come back to Sean Chipperfield, breaking off frame number three. Race to seven against Tom Jones. Wow, just look at them yellows as well, Tony. You see the, the red is over the bottom left-hand corner, but it can play yellow off the red. That in turn will develop the pocket for the eight ball. And they're all sat there nice and easy. And there we see the all dotted about. And now he's gonna play the yellow off the red. Well, he's gonna have to play the yellow off the red here. Cushion first, bang into it. Yeah, doesn't want to hit it too hard though, just open the pocket slightly. That's it. You like that one, Chris, didn't you? Yeah, it was controlled. You see a lot of players play that shot and they'll smash it off the red and the black will go safe and they'll say, oh, I've been so unlucky. Well, it's not unlucky, it's an absolute terrible shot what you've played. <laughs> Don't beat around the bush, Chris, you say what you mean. Yeah, and Sean doesn't hang about. 
I'm, I'm going to I'm going to put this out there. I think this match is going to be over with about 18 minutes remaining. Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. We've got 40 minutes and 15 seconds from now. So we're going for 18 minutes. Well, at this pace, you might have been being generous. Might be, might be with 25 minutes left. Yeah, he, might, he might have a table booked to the restaurant. Yeah, I think he has. There's taxi outside with engine running. And he is chippy. 2-1 up. He's just looking to see if that cab's there. Is he here yet? Tom Jones couldn't do much about that. The glimpse we've had of him, he's been pretty assured as well. Yeah, he's very talented, he's uh, Tom. Very impressive. Sean Chipperfield. Seen it all before. Plenty of experience at this level. Yeah, he can certainly turn his opponent over, or any opponent over, in quick fire time. Let's see how this break goes. Tom just uh, jumped up a little bit before the last one, see if he does it again. You see there, Tony, he, he, lift, he lifted up well before he hits the ball. Mind you, he's done well there with the break. Yeah, I think uh, I think sometimes you're better off hitting a very controlled break rather than a hard break, and that was quite controlled. He screwed the cue ball to the top cushion. The way he lifted up off the cue, it looked, it looked more deliberate than it was a, a, a reaction to how, how he was cueing. Yeah, and just look at these yellows. Because he's got plenty of power in there, doesn't he? Yeah. Yellow balls in play. I'd love to be able to play for the yellow on the bottom cushion after this next one. Just needs to leave an half ball angle and they'll have absolutely nothing to do. He's got a slight bit of angle there on that one on the bottom rail. Now he can get the cue ball up. Yeah, I'd have preferred to leave that high. He was guaranteed the angle if he left it high where. Now he's got to screw this out and play it with pace. And Nicely done. Not trying to hit him, is he? Yeah, he's, he's, very, um, he's very quick when queuing up to the ball. It's like he's sawing, sawing through the cushion. But he does hit the ball well, to be fair to him. Got a nice little pause just before he delivers a cue. He'd love to be able to be straight on the, the next yellow after this one, so he can just screw back a few inches. That's good. That's nice. He can just nip this past the red. Whatever you do, don't over hit this shot. Leave it low. That's perfect. It is great shot. He should be playing for the eight ball in the centre pocket. Just pop this one in the centre, play it with a touch of right hand spin. He's just come down the table just to check where he wants to be. Nicely played there from Tom. Good control in this frame and yeah. a good clearance. Yeah, been very, very impressive. And 2-2 two -two it is. Well, like he doesn't look—he doesn't look at all phased or edgy at all, does he? You know, he's playing one of the top players in Sean Chipperfield. He's decided to deploy the rubber cue ball that was bouncing around the table there. I tell you what, that was a really good break as well. Yeah. And they, they just didn't even split. <coughs> Boink. He's a little bit unlucky there. It was a good break. What's Tom playing here? Can he develop the other red? Well, yeah. does he play the double? That's does he pop this and screw into the red or the yellow? It'd be wise to screw into the middle yellow of the three 
they're to the right of the cue ball that internal bring the red out and they'll be on the other red in the centre pocket don't hit it too hard Tom <coughs> perfect that's a great shot <coughs> Never missed a ball from the commentary box, Tony? No, it's the only place I haven't missed a ball from. Missed plenty <laughs> from an arena or two. That's nicely played from Tom there. Just wants to stop the cue ball dead, really. Just to leave that little angle so they can pot the red in the top right-hand corner after this one. And the natural angle for the cue ball to go is into bulk and he'll be on the red in the centre pocket he doesn't want to screw it back whatever he does just roll it in absolutely dead weight yeah that's it's not a good shot for me that Tony you, you've got to just roll it in dead weight and leave the angle now he's virtually straight on the red don't get me wrong he can still clear up but is he looking to see if that red goes past the yellow into the middle Looks well, very tight, doesn't it? Yeah, I think it goes quite <coughs> comfortable, to be honest. If it does, that that makes his life a lot easier. Yeah, he's OK. But you see, if he'd have left a bit more angle there, the cue ball's coming out more, so he'd be straight on the red in the middle. Just roll it in, and you're on the other red. But, you know, he's, he's ultra-confident, to be fair. Maybe he played this way all along. Yeah, nicely played there. Soft little screw back now for the eight ball in the bottom right hand corner. And you've got to say, he's very it impressive. He doesn't look like missing. Cuba wise, he's, he's been where he should be most of the time, isn't he? I mean, some of the players, even, you know, myself, Tom Cousins, a few have been out just a little bit with the table, but. Tom Jones has been bang on it every every shot. Yeah, it's not unusual. See, I, I, I stayed away from that deliberately. Oh, we're going to leave that and we'll come back to that later and see how that unfolds. Another screaming break there from Tom Jones. Yeah, he, he completely lost control of that cue ball there, though, Tony. It's very fortunate that it didn't go in off. And you can see again, Oof. he's moving massively before he hits a cue ball. And he's never ever going to hit the cue ball where he wants when he's doing that. No. No, he's going to have to get hold of that and put a leash on it. Yeah, he'd love to take yellows here, but. Well, he's going for reds. Can he play the red at the top of the table off the yellow? That's going to be the question. That's what he's looking at now. Or is he looking at the double? See, I'd have been going for yellows if that had been me because there's not one yellow that's tied up where there is a red that's tied up on the left. He'll probably prove us wrong though, Tony, and uh, dish up. Well, I don't think that Tom actually thinks he's going to miss anyway. He's well, if he lands straight on the red in the top right-hand corner after this one, It's okay. It's okay. Not too bad. See if he'd have landed straight on the one in the top right hand corner, you roll through the pot the red in the left hand corner. Playing the double. And dodge, nudge, nudge the other one over the middle. He's playing the double and he's gonna try and screw back. Yeah, I don't like this. He may get it, but for me it's it's the wrong shot. Yeah, it, it's never the shot. You know, he's got a clearance on there where he doesn't need to play a double. Doesn't need to cannon a ball out. No. And he, he's gone for reds because the first shot was an easier shot. Sometimes. He's, he's looked at that as match ball. Or yeah. frame, sorry, not match ball, frame ball he's looked at that. And rather than, I agree with you, he pops the one in the corner, tries to get an angle, and he could plot the one up there and kick it out or get behind it, whichever. He tried it with side and, and that's the way really probably should have oh, gone. Wow. What a miss that is. Now then. He's a been, reprieve. He's been lucky as well, you know. Can Tom pot the red and hold it off the yellow? Play another double. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how many times you watch a match and 
you see clearance after clearance after clearance, then one person misses a ball, then, and then, then they, all they, start. they start missing balls. And yep. Needs to play this slowly and just softly screw off the yellow. Wow. They're both that team, just, you've just called it. Yeah, that was a bad miss, that one. Well, they both had a... Well, Tom's had two chances and Sean's had one chance to win this frame. Neither of them want it. Yeah, Sean should be potting the red in the bottom left-hand corner now. Oh, sorry, the yellow near the eight ball. Then play the yellow up the cush, pot his red. Yeah. And just screw the white. Exactly the what he's going to do. Just screw the white. But, but you want to screw the white to stop him coming across the table. That's right. Yeah, straight across. that's 100% so right. Use the, use the yellow to block it. Yeah, just he could, he could even just stun this in. But for me, I'd play it into the left-hand side of the yellow, what he's planting, just so the other yellow goes in front of the red. A little bit like that, but I'd have played it the opposite way. But The thing is, if you get it too close to red in front of it, then you've got to knock it out yourself if he, if he comes out with... You know, all right, you'd probably have ball in hand if he didn't hit the red, but... Yeah, and the thing is there, Tony, because he's left the yellow close to the red, if he hits his red, he could go off the yellow yes, and go he in. Could. he could slide it along that button. I, like I don't. Can he play it off the cushion, off the yellow? This would be savage. It was a good shot. Oops. What am I going with all of that then? But yeah, and uh, I think I'd have been coming off the bottom cushion, side cushion, and trying to kick it. In. Well, is it a plant in the right and centre pocket? Sean's had a quick glance. I think it may be. earth is that? That is a very poor shot from Sean there. Why would you not play for the plant in the middle pocket? You're asking the wrong person, Chris. <laughs> I agree with you. He's going to play the long yellow down here. I mean, he's still fine. It's just little things like that, though. I mean, it, it's impossible not to pot the plant. He's probably not even thought of it. I mean, now he's perfect. Pots his screws back to the top rail and plop, plop. Straight back to the top rail. He's got a natural just drop in there. That's it. And this is three apiece. Yeah, it's a pretty quick match as well. You're still sticking to your 18 minutes left, aren't you? Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, I think I'm going to be out slightly. <laughs> <laughs> Which I thought was comical. But <clears throat> wow. That's a fair explosion there. Oh, yeah. look, look at the yellows. I think he's having a look at the front spot there because there's a cue ball jumping in the air. I think he's uh, thinking because of the tiny little indentation in the table there, the, the, the front ball's lower than the cue ball. Yeah, that's right. The front ball will be slightly lower than the rest of the balls. That's what he's having a little peek at. Bearing in mind it's a brand new cloth on there, you'd, you'd think only after one day's play you shouldn't be there. That normally comes about when people are getting the balls and they start banging, they're using the key ball to tap balls into the cloth to hold them in, a, in position and you start putting dents in the table. Yeah, I don't like the shot he's played there. He, he, for me, there's no reason to play that shot, Tony. Absolute no reason to play that shot. The yellow goes in the centre pocket. All he has to do is drop it on, drop it in and he's on the other three yellows in the middle of the table. Can, it can use the yellow that's closest to the eight ball to actually bring it out if need be now. So he's been fortunate that he's on his bad ball here. Wow. wow. Ooh, what's that? Would you not play for the one in the middle there, Tony? Um, I th yeah. I have to say, that's uh, one I wasn't expecting there from Sean Chipperfield. Yeah, and he may end up flicking off the eight ball here and sliding down for the yellow. Well... Now, this is going to tell me if this, could, this is an easy ball over the pocket. Because nothing has hit that yellow, I believe. So why would you try and bring it out? It's just madness. Absolute madness why he tried to bring that ball out earlier. And he's been very fortunate they got on his bad ball early in the frame. So that could have gone anywhere. Just needs to pot this yellow, roll through about six inches. To leave a nice angle. That's perfect. Maybe we might hit the uh, 18 minutes mark. Oh, he's, he's back in play. Down it goes, and Chipperfield now edges in front of 4 3. Oh, 
isn't it amazing how, you know, they're not hitting the break flush, but they're making a ball every single time. And he's a little bit unlucky that he hasn't got an easier red to go at. Well, he's going to have to go for a red. Can he play cushion first and pop the one over the pocket? Or does he take the long one down the cushion? Or does he cut in the middle? He's going for the long one. Just play this pocket where it gets somewhere near and it, it should accept it. It's a good shot. Great shot there yeah, from Tom shot. Jones. Red balls in play. Just wondering now, Tony, is it worth potting this red and nudging the yellow above the eight ball? Not too bad. He might have had a little go at that then. Yeah, I just thought it was a free shot to kind of move the yellow away from the red. He was always going to be on the red. Just to try and make it easier for himself, but he's played it well and... I believe the eight ball goes in the right hand corner pocket now. The one that is playing this red. Into. Oh wow. Oh wow. Ouch. That's not what you want us to do. Yeah, and, uh, and I've said it before on commentary, the tables are so wide because everything's brand new. I mean, that's, uh, that's unforgivable really. That's just the first one we've seen, certainly from Jones. He'll be frustrated there, Tom, as he goes back to his seat in Chipperfield. Now with a great opportunity to get two in front. Yeah, and you can't see uh, this really going wrong. Take the yellow at the top of the table right now, and he has nothing to do. Me, I'd take the, the centre one of the three there into the corner, leave the angle on the next one into the middle and go up the top. He's going his own way. I'm not saying he's wrong because he, he probably will clear him, but if I was at the table, I'd have been playing the yellow in the top corner pocket. He, he wants to leave it till last now, but it looks for it, that one at the top. He's probably going to pot the one in the middle, cannon the eight ball, which then in turn will leave a perfect angle on the yellow to screw up the table. Yeah, yeah, I like that way. From there, I do. And so does Chippy. He doesn't want to over at this one because you don't want the cue ball on the top cushion. Just leave it anywhere in the middle of the table here. Perfect. Yeah, that is bang on. And we're going to see Sean Chipperfield pull away to a two frame lead. This for 5 3. In it goes. See if the uh, cue ball jumps about four feet again. Nope. It's a better break. Surely not dry there. Oh. There he is. And that, I mean, that's a lovely break. That's probably his best break he's yeah, done. Yeah, look at it. It's just really well controlled, but just didn't make one. And the yellows are lovely. Yeah, you've got to feel a bit of grief there, haven't you? But thankfully for Tom Jones. Oh, that's a poor shot. If he's not on that yellow, that is really poor, Tom. We can snip the one into the middle. But, yeah. And I don't understand that. I mean, Tom's just potted a yellow. I mean, I'm not having a, a pop at anybody, but Tom's just potted a yellow there, and the referee's walked over to see if the red's touching the cushion. He's not on reds, he's on no, yellows. it doesn't matter, no. It doesn't make a difference. And I'll tell you the other thing as well. It's not up to the ref to tell people it's touching, it's up to the player to tell the ref. Well, I'm glad you're not having a pop at anybody anyway, Chris. I'm getting revenge for yesterday. I was say, do you, want to, you might as well get it all off your chest while we're here. I'm getting revenge for yesterday. We can tell them uh, to stop the match and we'll get, have another half an hour with Chris. <laughs> Did you see what happened in the match yesterday with my, with my lag? With who? With my lag. No. I, I lagged off and the cue ball drifted over to the right hand side of the, of the middle of the table. And... My opponent, Andrew Patrick, conceded the lag because he was about six inch, eight inch short and he picked the cue ball up. So obviously he's conceded the lag. 
the referee turned around and said uh, your cue ball went over the line, so you both got a re-lag. Really? Yeah. There's no such rule. No, I never heard of that. Did you not ask the question? I did, but I got uh, shot down. <laughs> oh, Tom. And this is what I was saying. He's, a, he's just a little bit loose with the cue ball. But he's mega talented, is this lad. He may be okay. If you can just screw this back off the cushion. Just give yourself a little, little angle. Great pot. Yeah, really well played. The only problem you've got with this, Tony, natural angle is pot the yellow, cannon the yellow over the pocket. On here, I think it's going to throw to the left-hand side of the yellow. So you may end up seeing him screw this off the side cushion and back out above the yellow, so he plays it in the middle. Well, he's played that well. He's held it too good. It's no good looking to see if it goes now, Tom, lad. Should have been lucky before. Yeah. I can't believe he's held the cue ball there, to be honest. No, I can't. He's held it so well, it's unbelievable. That should be a big shot. Yeah, he's got to play this slow because the cue ball might get away from him. Well, look at where the cue ball's going. Ooh. But he, he's not on, any, on anything. Yeah, and he's... Uh, He's got one foot on a banana skin and the, the other one in the ground. <laughs> Chippy now got a nice little angle if he wants to just run this through and kick that red over the middle that's on that rail. Nicely played there, brilliant mm, yeah. shot. That was nice to see from Tom there, he just tapped his leg in the background there to say, you know, good shot. I like to see that, you know, that's, yeah. that's classy. Well, I think once things are short, should Tom not, not win this match against Chipperfield, I think we're going to see plenty of Tom Jones in the future in these events because he's certainly a very, very accomplished player and, uh, and quite exciting to watch, isn't he? Yeah, very exciting to watch. He's a, a brilliant player. Just then one or two shots where he's lost a cue ball. He's, he's played the wrong shot, if you know what I mean. In fact, if I was to give Tom any kind of advice, and it's no criticism, if I was him, I'd go see McKill and get a couple of hours coaching on pattern play. Because I'll tell you what, once he gets his patterns perfect, he's going to be very, very difficult to beat. Yeah. Well, this puts Sean Chipperfield on the hill. Needing every one of the four remaining frames. Should he get that far? Yeah, well, he's made a ball, two yeah. balls. Yeah, just look at them. Take your pick. I think yellows are the order of the day, but take your pick. Well, how's your 18 minutes looking? You've got a minute left. Nicely played there. Yeah, that's not happening to it, unless he pots the <laughs> eight ball. <laughs> well, you'd have rather not been queuing over this red. Yeah, it should. I saw you shake your head there because you think that's uh, it is a bit careless. Yeah, it's so careless. There's no reason to be anywhere near that red. I mean, it shouldn't cause him a problem, and he's played that lovely there. He's played for all four yellows in one shot. And he's on them. He's on every one of them. One just above the black. Yep, that's the one. And then the one below the black. Screw Aye. back to the side cushion. That's it. He's going to cannon the red. And decided not to cannon it. I think he's going to go the top yellow now into the middle, down the bottom. Right hand corner and the black, uh, the red, red, yellow just above the black into the middle. Yeah, I think you're right there. Still in the match, there's a plenty of time on the on the clock, so uh, he's not out of it, not by any means. Now, if you're Sean Chipperfield, you know you know the ability of this lad, and you know that it, you know 
You know, he's not he's not silly, sure, and he knows that this lad can play, and he's, if he gets a chance, he's going to have to take it. I mean, impressive stuff there from Jones. Back against the wall, produces the goods. What a break that is. Mm. Look at the yellows. Wow. Miss them if you can. Look how straight the cuba goes back to the rail. Bounced a little bit in the air, straight backwards. Never any danger of it going in the bag. And this is the shot right at the outset of this frame. Might go down the bottom drain and pop the one over the bag. Does he? I think you have to do, yeah. Where's, can he see it though? He's looking at going cushion first there. And On the overhead we looked at, I thought he could, but... Well, if he swerves it no, and hits it thick, it. the cue ball's just going to stick over the pocket. No, he can... Like that. He's been lucky there, you know. He's been very fortunate. Yeah, that, that could he's have not stayed, the stayed in the jaw completely, couldn't it? And he's found the gap. He's been quite fortunate. Can he just play the plant and cannon the red to the top cushion? Don't know if you can see enough of it. He doesn't want to cannon the red in front of the yellow, that's for sure. Ooh. Well, Don't like that shot. That is one of the worst shot selection choices from Sean I've ever seen. That is horrendous what he's played there. Yeah, I don't get that one at all. I understand what he's trying to do. He's trying to cannon the red to the right-hand side of the table with his yellow and open the balls up, but it was just, I mean... He's been a little bit fortunate once again that they've all stayed in the open kind of thing. So, well, the red, uh, sorry, the yellow that's in, in the middle of those three reds, it goes into the middle and, and that corner, doesn't it? And he's played on it there. Is he on it? Not sure if he is. It's tight. Well, from that angle, it looks like he is, but obviously, the way Sean's looking, it, it may not be. Well. Yeah, it was okay. Well, and <laughs> he's ended up, they've come out all right, but he's got yeah. away with murder there. I think he's got away with one, yeah. He'll be the first one to, to put his hand up and say that, but he's still got a potter, and he has done. Well, this black ball for the win, and in it goes, and Sean Chipperfield defeats a gallant runner up in Tom Jones. But it's Chippy that marches on.